Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at the Thug 2 from Civivi. They've got four different versions of this uh, this knife. Let me give you the rundown on this one. Let me give you the, the actual model number two. So this is the C20028C-2. And then you've got the dash one, dash three, and dash four. Um, cool little EDC knife. Um, I saw this, they reached out to me and said, hey, you interested in any of our new knives? And this one really jumped out to me. Cool angle for the blade. Um, yeah, I just think that's kind of a, a unique look there. Um, some of the details, overall length, 6.48 inches. Uh, from end to end, your width is 1.39 inches. Your overall height is 0.68 inches. Blade length, 2.69 inches. Uh, blade thickness, 0.12 inches. Handle thickness, 0.47. And your weight is 3.66 ounces or 103.9 grams. Now your blade steel for this is a Nitro V steel, which it seems like Civivi is using in more and more of their knives. Um, I've had some experience with it on some of their other knives, and it seems to be seems to be a solid um, a solid steel. And I think if I remember talking to my buddy Ben, he said that he it's a step up from from D2. Um, but yeah, for me, for like an EDC knife, I don't even mind a lower end steel because I can sharpen up on a regular basis. But it is nice to have a you know a solid steel. So Nitro V Rockwell hardness is 59 to 61. You can see you've got that compound edge, right? So you got an edge here and an edge there. It is a hollow grind for that. Let me give you a close up. Flip to the back side here. So this is black G10 for the handle. Um, some of the other uh, versions of this, they have different options. You can see tip up carry and looking, you can see you can reverse the uh, reverse the pocket clip either side. It's a stainless steel pocket clip. Nice and compact when I look at that in my hand. I think this, it reminds me of the Kershaw um, Needs Work, I think. I feel like it's called Needs Work. Gets work done or something like that. Anyhow, it was, um, one of my first early on EDC knives, great knife, but the pocket clip was too tight. It was really hard to uh, get it in and out of your pocket. So, um, cage ceramic ball bearings, liner lock for your lock. Let's take a look at the lock up there. Coming in at around 70 bucks and the designer is Matthew Christensen. So cool little e man. I could tell you, I just like barely bumped my finger there. This thing is nice and sharp, comes in nice and sharp. Do a little cutting here as the sun cuts through the, uh, through the trees. Not a super thick cardboard, but very durable, I would tell you. So it's doing some work on that pretty easy. Well, you see, we can use the, I don't think I can do it holding it up like this, but we want to try out the other portion of the blade too. So no problem there. This knife doesn't strike me as a woods knife, but just to show you, it can do some, some carving too. You know, it's a very short portion of the blade there. So you're not gonna be doing some hardcore slicing or carving with this, but it can certainly get the job done as you can see. I think this is maple too, so definitely a harder wood. But it's doing the work. There's that. A little more cutting here. Here's that front end. Obviously, this is very thin cordage. Oh, I'm a little bit of trouble there. All right, there we go. Yeah, if you really push through, it'll get the job done. So, those any issues there were operator error, not the uh, not the knife. It definitely cuts when you actually use it properly, as you can see. So this part of the video is kind of the intro, just so you can see it. Now I'm gonna EDC this thing and see what we think about it. Um, it's It's got some, even though it's like small, I would call it kind of chunky. It's got some, some strength or heft to it. Uh, this is how your hand falls, so you're gonna have your pinky off the end there, pretty pretty solidly off. Maybe you could lock it in underneath, but you know, three finger grip, I would say, large size hands for me. But uh, yeah, it's been cool so far. So let me EDC this for a bit, and then um, we'll uh, yeah we'll report in, let you guys know what we think in a little bit in this video here. All right, we're back here to wrap up talking about the Thug Two. Just fair warning, 
This is a quiet spot. I often shoot videos, but there's lots of cars driving by at this time because I think it's the uh, people heading home from the commute. So Thug 2, thoughts on it. Overall, chunky little cool EDC blade. Like I said, you got those two interesting blade angles. Um, I will say you can do kind of sweeping cuts, you know, because of because it is basically sort of like a recurve. But you can see there's definitely like a, a tip there, if you will, right? So it comes to a point. So it's not as sweeping as like a straight up Persian style, but you can use it that way. Um, if you do want to pierce, like if you want to cut open boxes, you want to get into the box this way, or maybe even kind of get in and then go like this as you're cutting. So a lot of people, if we're honest, we're using EDC knives as box cutters at various points. Um, but I like it. It's cool. It's slick. Like I said, there's a couple different versions that you can get from Civivi. Um, I'll look and see if I can get any discount codes. I'll put that in the description section of this video. But um, if you want something unique, I think this may be one that you want to uh, check out. It um, opens nicely. Nitro V. I, I haven't had a lot of use with this particular knife in Nitro V. Um, but the ones I've used, the Civivi knives I've used with Nitro V have worked out well. So let me hear your thoughts on it. Uh, compact little blade from Civivi. What do you like if you own one? What are your thoughts on it? And um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a win. It's not gonna be for everybody, but as far as compact EDC knife that's got a little kind of chunkiness to it, I do like this guy. So let's, uh, let's hear your thoughts and your feedback in the comment section and let's get that conversation started now. All right, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.